but all the gratitude there. Not too many parties in the air. Yeah. What are you... I was provoked. Mm -hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Faripsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Faripsis set off for Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. They know what happened to him? The locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once in an eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his djinn. Why are you even interested? Djinns are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a djinn, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. You sure this mage actually had a djinn? His books strongly suggest he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Storm wouldn't pose a threat if he'd had a djinn. He could just utter a wish. Perhaps he had none left, or something unexpected happened. All right, so what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this djinn. I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. So you've managed to prepare everything already? I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk. Once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. Come. The landing's not far. Something I've always wondered. What you do you know witches do once there crystals. are no basilisks? Not ah, and the giants witch. around here. Okay. Come. The landing's not far. The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. Not sure this gin thing's a good idea. 
We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. And the lion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> how lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life. Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always, not about you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah. And as for your missteps, I don't like you see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. How's it going? Yeah, you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? I wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck and a cavern. I'll look inside. Snapped masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners. Probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew, then made their nest here. There's also a Clan Drummond figurehead. Come back up. Say we find the gym. What do we do? Ask for a beautiful house, and a palace, and a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the gym? Or have we moved on to the talking fish? Doesn't much matter. We both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in deep. Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Found a wreck. It's been here a while. Woods rotted. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Don't ask Clan. Donna was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Don't ask Clan. Donna was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Beautiful craftsmanship. What do you have? A war horn. Bearing Clan Hamai symbols. Longship belonged to Clan Dimon. Yen. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. Got 
got a chest. Really old. Must have fell off the wrecked lock. Now that's what I call war booty. Have you found the gin? No, but I found something that could be just as valuable to me as the gin is to you. Skeleton. Somebody pinned his skull to the deck with an axe. A death worthy of a Skelliger. Clan emblem indicates a dimmer man, so he was from Pharaoh. A man's skeleton. Somebody pinned his skull to the deck with an axe. Clan emblem indicates a dimmer man, so he was from Pharaoh. You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the Golden Dragon and an avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember, though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. We'll see what it is. See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell, to see through your eyes. Now relax. I see Faultia Badem Ein Eichter Ilivaid. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gem. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I see Faultier Badem Ein Eichter Ilivade. Silver. Pearl encrusted cutlery. Ship belonged to someone awfully wealthy. Amos was no pauper. It could very well be his ship. in here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up.
only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the djinn. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Ah, oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... Three. You said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this, Jin? But you already know. A Jin's power is priceless to a mage. That I know, but I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. <sighs> how long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it. This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Why would you want to do that? To see what it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another, or if we'll be like two strangers. Hmm. Wondered that myself many times. You see? We're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. Seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the Jinn to lift half his ship to a mountain top. He didn't necessarily. Jinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Interesting. Mysteries, Agnes of Glanville. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Mage must have slept here. This means blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Nothing interesting. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting. Yen, I think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere, to a mountaintop even. And the djinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck. I've an idea. Cold's preserved the corpse. Hmm. Died from head trauma. Bookcase cracked his skull. Must have been a hard landing atop this mountain. Step back a bit. What are you going to do? 
Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame djinn. Rif kaishta en daya. Kaishta et displer. Givered me castle. over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. Feel any better? I told you, I'm fine. Don't need to play tough for me. That was a hard fight. Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed a djinn, but still. <laughs> no comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhind suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Well, never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's... different? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... you'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Jin might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yen. And I love you. Was that? It can't be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. But I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. <sighs> My, it 
It's lovely. Mm hmm. Think the spirits of Skellige favor us. Next time we go on horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. We must report to the Emperor after all. Ceres our concern, and only ours. At heart, perhaps. But it's not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. Awfully loyal to your patron. He happens to be your patron as well, darling. You'd do well to remember that. Otherwise he might feel compelled to remind you. If we gotta, we gotta. We wouldn't have known Ciri had returned if not for the Emperor and his agents. It's the least we can do. Yen, what happened back there? Was very nice. Let's not ruin it by hashing out the details. I'm going to see the Baron. Collect Uma from him, then we'll ride for Kaer Morin. I shall join you as quickly as I can. See you, Yen. Take care of yourself. Urgen Mother and Crone. Geralt? Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, oh, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. I still can't get something out of my mind. What? Yen, can we talk? Why? So you can ask me if we can remain friends despite all? No, I... I mean... Come now, Geralt. I know you. Well enough to know exactly what's going on with you and Triss. Now, I cannot say I'm not tempted to... Hmm... Intervene, but... I believe I'll let it lie this time. How about that? You came here to fumble your way through an explanation, yet instead of enjoying the show, I went and did your job for you. Seems so. But now, enough of this maudlin business. We've something to do, remember? So, feel any different after our encounter with the Jinn? Yes. Now I feel... regret. Mean to say that... That I regret we didn't try that earlier. Much earlier. Think we would have argued less? Quite the opposite. But the other moments would have been more intense as well. Moments like this. Thanks, Yen. See you later. Plump liver? Greeting! What smell? Thanks for sparing a moment.
friends we show heart, foes we show our axe. Remember that. Must be the comrade of the fellow from Pharaoh. Hmm. Odd. Looks like Gash is like old claw marks in its Not flanks like and neck. It's also got a locked jaw and a warped spine. Like it might have died of tetanus. Accident. Better investigate. Furrow looks fresh. Boulder must have rolled through here. Started here. I think I see some tracks. A necker. Must have waded through mud before arriving here.
open Necker's foot, hollowed out inside like a boot. Someone lost it while running. The plot thickens. Necker paw and a human foot, small like a child's, clearly running. here. <laughs> Who would think to hang drawings in a place like this? Looks like the work of a child, or someone who's damned clumsy with a quill. <laughs> Two sticks protruding above the shoulder. Think that might be me. Is that a wagon? And here's where that boulder almost crushed me. Necker tracks near the boulder. Now I know where they came from. Just wonder who actually left them. These balls on sticks are Endragas. Guess they were supposed to finish me off. All in all, a pretty elaborate plan. And this must be the meeting place. Huh. Looks like this whole ambush was a group effort. High time I met the pranksters. A necker. Torn apart by something huge. Then someone cut its legs off. be the place. You can come out. I've seen your plan. Besides, I can hear you. One of you's wheezing like a broken bellows. 
Another's panting frantically like a deer caught in a trap. And the third should really take something for that throat. I'd try time extract. Someone care to explain what's going on here? What's going on is that you're down there, and we're up here! That's a situation I can fix quickly. Lichy thingy no gum gum! The pounding lichy thingy swoop man! That's right! We've caught you! You're at our mercy now, and we're none too merciful! Oh really? Fact is, I could just turn around Hold and- Hold it held! Lichy thingy gum gum shutty! Well, swoop leg. I wonder why he's not already in the shrimp. You were to kill him. <sighs> what? We never said nothing about killing. Not a thing. We were just supposed to scare him. So witchy thingy us scary thingies. Make him no touch us. I believe you misunderstood. <sighs> He's a murderer, like the rest of them, like the one who killed my Adalia. <sighs> <clears throat> Awful sorry about your wench. We all are. A Doppler. But this Witcher didn't kill her, and we can't very well punish him for another's crime. He has much to answer for, too. <sighs> I heard he killed a Korin in Tucson. But he spared a golden dragon. So what? What about Verena? The Bruxa with the fondness for blue roses from Nazaire. He showed her no mercy. <sighs> Verena killed many an innocent. I had to do something, but I've helped monsters aplenty. Yes? Who? Salma, a succubus in Novigrad. Let her go free, even though I knew she'd killed some guardsmen. You mean, even when you know a monster's killed someone, you don't hurt them? If it had good reason. Yeah, sometimes. Don't make me laugh. That's not nearly enough. <sighs> There's this Sylvan in Velen. You gotta know him. I had a choice. Kill him and collect a reward from the local peasants? Or talk it out with him? I chose the latter. Sylvan's a nasty schemers. But it was nice of you to spare him. You see? He's not that bad. We should let him go. Let him go? No! So he can track us down and butcher us? I won't hurt you. I don't kill sentient creatures. You lie. Every Witcher is a murderer! Ah. I kill monsters, true. It's my job. But only when they threaten humans. You hate us! Hate us all! Humans hate you all. Because they don't know you. Don't know which of you are dangerous and which want to live in peace. Only Witchers stand between you and humans. We know both worlds. Protect both. We kill dangerous monsters so the thinking ones can live in peace. So you say now, as you stand there, scared, you know we have the upper hand. Ha, ha, ha. You don't. Could have killed you all long ago if I'd wanted to. I believe him. We should let him be. I'm all for it. To my thinking, he's telling the truth. Let witchy thingy go. Ah, fools! Gullible as newborns! A just witcher, a kind witcher, a lying witcher, he fiends at all, all humans lie. Let it rest, this is not the way, you shan't bring Adalia back. Ah! Stay here, I'll finish this alone. Die for her, for my Adalia. Ah! I 
like that silver. lost? That's a right shame. I was different once. Should never have let him talk us into this. Here, a little something from us, so you'll remember not all monsters are dangerous. Thanks.
Razor. Master! But I'm guessing you're... So long. Fair winds and following seas. Show me what you have in Farewell. 
You're a witcher, right? <sighs> I could have married a compliment. You're never tempted. <sighs> Greeting. Take it easy. Come on, Roach. Soon, don't you fret.
I want to know already what it is we'll face. Arrhenius? We serve her who Some is virgin, beasts. mother, and crone. Vagrant. Uncle oh. said folk on the continent got heads like... Ah! Beg your pardon. You've come a long way. Off meat for two Can days. Can swing an axe? Oh, hungry. <laughs> Best blade's angry. not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging an egg. Show me what you got. Harpies got their nest here. Thank you. 
attend to Beg your own your problems.
respect, Witcher. A Witcher, eh? Look what the sea hurled ashore. Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skellige warriors alone drink in this tavern. Not looking for trouble. Look at him. Raise your voice and his tail slinks between his legs, like a dog who's heard a wolf howl at the moon. Looking to eat? Wait, hadn't the yard then? Till ill tosses what's left in our bowls or the fence? Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler, disgraces himself and brings shame on his clan. Your da's teach you nothing. Don't you talk to me about me da, Yorant, or I'll tuck you in me da barra. And you remember this, stranger? This here's not Ker Trolda, and we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. You don't mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Jorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. Specialty goods alone. But I don't expect a tramp from the continent to know him from tripe. A game of Gwent. How about it?
Geralt? Those two boys, the pesky ones, who were they? Corey and Cracky. Only ever troublesome, as is their father, Leif. Eh, interesting in some way? Depends. If it's liars and cards that interest you, then very much so. I don't often raise such a hubbub. You must rarely get guests from the continent. Aye, true. When a Redanian or Tamarian grows the stones to come to Skellige, they usually go ashore at Kertrolda. Port's good there. Merchants are plenty. And the Jarl's right merciful to Continentals. Saw your notice. Pretty bare. Can you tell me more about the beast? It's a ghost, I think. Or some other nightmare. Haunts Eldberg near the lighthouse. Started harmless. Lighthouse just stopped burning one night. Without that light, ships can't make Aaron Bjorn safely. So we sent two men to see what had happened. Let me guess. They didn't come back. Nay, they didn't. Mikyel, the lightkeeper, he'd also gone missing. So I gathered some lads, a rescue party, and off we sealed. As we neared the isle, I hit the rudder hard and turned round. I'd seen a wraith on shore. Must think me a coward. Will crude steel it not do us much good there? I felt it in me bones. All I could think to do was to gather gold round the village for a reward. Help us, and it's yours. Gotta say, I like you, Jorand. But business is business. I'll need more than that. That much? Oh, Geralt. Doubt the yard. Grand. Let's call it that. Shake on it. Fine. See what I can do. Thank you, Geralt. You're a good sort. What to be said. Who's I? We serve her who is virgin mother. Run, Roach.
My dad's off fighting the black ones. Looking to buy? Show me your weapon.
in there. Oh, good your ear. So, what'll it be? Will you help old Nidus find a black pearl for his wife? I'd like it done already. Humidity's is unkind to my bones. They've started creaking. Let's go. But get ready for them to creak some more. Not likely to find pearls where it's dry. True. But I survived worse during the war. At Ross Rock, we fought waist deep in the swamp and... Ah, wasted my breath. History don't mean a wit to youngsters. Come on, Pearl Grounds aren't far now. Quite the spring in your step for a man your age. Uh -huh. Have you seen me in my prime? 30 miles a day I did in full dress. This is the place. They say dive down here and you'll see the oyster beds all around. Problem is, not all hold pearls, and the black ones are a real rarity. But search long enough and you're sure to find one. Ah, so I'm supposed to do the diving? Well, you see, I've been in the infantry all my life, so I'm not one for water. And my lungs ain't what they used to be, so, uh, yeah. Huh. Customer's always right. Flashing must have attracted them. You all right? Uh, nicked in a few places. But if I pull through after sodden, I'll survive this too. So, any luck? Black Pearl, just like you wanted. Beautiful. Rare. Like my letter. Well, as Constable Natalis would say, you've earned a medal. Or better yet, a week's leave in a brothel. Coin will be fine. Oh, yes. Um, <clears throat> about that. Uh, listen, I, I feel right foolish, but, well, I, I didn't bring any coin with me. 
Don't try to cheat me. I don't know which as I I'm old, but I'm not stupid. We'll meet in Novigrad. I'll pay you to the last copper. Foot soldiers honor. missed. Y'all, the lightkeeper? Jorand from Erenbjorn sent me. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when- No, here's. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed, came straight at me. Pulled it back inside, hosped the door, and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name, Miguel, Miguel. I look out, there's the rain, big bugger, bigger than the rest, and cold flowing from it. Such cold, the windows frosted o'er. These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought them here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. This wraith, the big one. Tell me more. It, it, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew. Knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry. Only saw it once. It disappeared right after. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse. You know, in case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something. Damn, you're ugly. here. A penitent? Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikiel's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. A 
letter. Well, well. Lighthouse has got a pretty dark secret. It's just you. Learn anything? Islands haunted by a penitent. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. Like luring ships onto the rocks, then looting the wrecks. Don't deny it. I found the letter. Longboats sink every so often anyway. That's the sea. That's its nature. They sink near the isle. At least the cargo don't go to waste. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitence invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I... I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can f feel it. Perhaps you could... I'll escort you. Now, no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go, before I change my mind. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, and come for you. Hurry up. Don't know how much longer I can manage this. Did it work? It did, but that doesn't make the island safe. Because you're still here. A lightkeeper who lures ships onto the rocks. Sheesh. I made a mistake. I know this now. Swear by Frey and all the gods never again. Absolutely never. As soon as we're done talking, you're gonna pack up and leave. For good. Understand? But I... Thank you. 
They smear your ass with honey yet hero. Hi, Geralt. I killed the monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter, and very rare. Why did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island, always. Even sirens haven't nested there. Someone committed a crime there, did something terrible. Long story short, you'll need a new lightkeeper. Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Aye, yes, got it right here. Earned every last coin you did. And a round. Cheers to your health. So long. Skellige mead, Vagrant! It's not bad, thanks. Ah, then get yourself a cake for the road. And fuck off! I see you lads still don't understand the law of hospitality. Tough. Seems like guts to pound it into you. Thanks, Jorand. Pounding's always better with a partner. No choice. some miserable shits. What can I do? Get your family? You won't manage. Be journeying to meet my ancestors soon. Pour a nip off for me at times. For Jorant, son of Sigvald, who lived honorable. Dead. That's some foreigner's hand. Corey! Cracky! Had but two sons, and you killed them. You ended my line. Sorry, but I didn't start it. Does this stranger speak the truth? Who first drew a blade? Dunno. It happened fast, and we were a few horns in. I killed the monster from the lighthouse, the beast that haunted you. This how you repay me? Paid you in gold. We owe you nothing more. Don't want any more bloodshed, but I'll defend myself if I have to. You'll make your defense before the Jarl. Only if Madman Lugos calls you innocent, will you be free to go. I'm to be judged by somebody you yourselves call madman. That, or fight the whole village, and you'll never defeat us all. Not with three swords, you won't. Fine. Lead the way. Pick oxen, hon. 
Wonder if you'll be as deaf with a pickaxe as you are with a Look sword. Look at him cast his eyes about searching for an escape, but there ain't none to be found, <laughs> save for talking to old Simon. Look at him cast his eyes about searching for an escape, but there ain't none to be found, <laughs> save for talking. When's my trial? When the Jarl summons you. Won't be soon. The longer a man crushes rocks, the less eager he is to get leapt during trial. This one's waited a year. That one, three. But see, Lugos said my trial would be today. Don't remember? Oh, I. Right. Uh, come on. My line dates back to the times of Uben the Great. This dog ended it. He's gotta die. I pass judgment here, Leif. Remember that. But he's a vagrant, a foreigner. He don't deserve a trial, not even death by the sword. He... Now go on. I want to hear this. Geralt, didn't think I'd see you again so soon. I don't remember sending for you. Wouldn't mind waiting if I had a free year or two. Sadly, I'm in a hurry. Let's get to it. Leif claims you killed his sons, Cory and Crocky. What do you see to that? Fought to defend myself and your end. None came forth to confirm your words. And none will. Always easier to hang an outsider than to try one of your own, right? Ha! Huh? Tongue as sharp as your blades. Sharp? He insults me, Earl. Insults our whole clan. The Codex of Ancestors says... Quiet! I've made my decision. Gerald of Rivia, I find ye guilty on two counts of murder. Punishment's death by suffocation. But you can buy your way out by paying Cory and Crocky's weight in silver. Let me pay in installments. Witchers live long. Dare say I'll pay it off eventually. End of the next century or so. I have a better idea. I'll pay the blood price myself. What? That's against every law. I make the laws here. Go home, Leif. Because if you rail me, I'll tie this bag of silver round your neck and toss you in the sea. Nice gesture, though I'm guessing it doesn't come free. Tell me, Witcher, have you any honor? I do. I paid Leif on your behalf. That puts you in my debt, a debt of pride. You ought to do as I say. So, listen carefully. My lad, Blue Boy Lugos, has ventured out, but not against the Black Ones, nor to loot a convent got the notion to go to the Cave of Dreams, south side of the Isle, and none return from there. You're clever and good with a sword, two traits that rarely go together. So, you're to help him. I need an heir, no matter his mettle. Take your things and do as I say, or lose your dignity and good name for all time. I think so. Looking for something specific? Show me wait. So long. What is it? Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So be it.
take care now. Uh huh. Yourself right here. 